Hey guys, Bonesaw here. Thanks so much for watching the video. Today, guys, we're going to be working on our third episode of the Williams Zoo. So, today we're going to be working on the Baird's Tapir. I don't... Is that how you pronounce it? I, I don't know. Um, but anyways, that's the exhibit or habitat that we're going to be working on today. The reason why I wanted to do this one is because this is also a pretty easy animal to do. And also, it's another South American animal and I figured that was actually um, kind of a uh, they they do have a cool kind of uh, um, attraction to them which is uh, always kind of fun and I've actually never seen one of these in real life before because none of the zoos I've been to have had this so it's kind of a cool thing to do and also it's probably one of my the easier animals to do which, which is in sandbox doesn't really matter to me but also it's kind of cool to see the guests come in and uh, finish off so you can see here right now we're just trying to figure out where the keepers can go to actually properly have them come into the exhibit without any issues and uh, this was kind of difficult as you could tell uh, it's just because the staff pathing area is just not great so I I would thought the um, outcome of it was was okay I feel like it could have been a little better but I am okay with it um, but I am pretty happy with this this exhibit just because it has a unique factor to it and also it has um, kind of a cool viewing uh, area just like the Galapagos tortoise has in the previous episode as well and also one of my favorite things is in the side entrance to the left of this uh, where the zookeeper entrance is you can see here I built a little viewing area into the temple and the reason why I wanted to do that is because you could see um, the hard shelter for the, the tapirs um, but the reason why I wanted to have them be able to see them is because then the tapirs could have a place to go to kind of have a hard shelter, but also have a little bit of area where the guests could go inside rather than having to be outside the whole time. So I, th I was really, really happy with it. I've realized though, nobody, none of the guests use it. I mean, <laughs> it's just, it's kind of a wasted uh, potential, which I was kind of bummed about, but I still think it looks nice. And you can see here, I like to use a lot of rocks and that's just because rocks just look really, really nice. And, uh, but yeah, so I was kind of bummed out by how much the, the guests did not even use at all of the viewing area. So, but that's okay. And I, I came up with this kind of cool idea of the little, excuse me uh a little staff entrance for our um for our staff and the reason why i wanted to do it was because i i know the staff you don't see this uh staff whenever we do tours but i wanted to change that in this one where the staffing areas it's it's kind of a cool area so you can walk in the staffing area and feel like you're still a part of the zoo and um, so I didn't really want to just make a some sort of janky entrance to the staff area. I wanted to make it kind of cool. So I think you'll be pretty happy with what we come up with. Um, but anyways, guys, that's all I'm going to do for talking today. I will let you get to the time lapse. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. If you did enjoy the video, please hit the like button and subscribe below. It really means a lot to me if you do that. And of course, comment below what you would like to see next or what you predict to see next. So, but anyways, guys, have a great rest of your day. Make it a great day.